Hi, thanks for registering at cosrealestate.com. I'm Mark J. Main. Today, I'm going to take some time to show you how to set up a safe search, save your favorites, use the interactive map tool, and even schedule showings. So let's get started. When you first arrive at cosrealestate.com, you'll see an icon of a silhouette in the upper right hand corner. You simply click on that to log into your, your account. Once you've logged into your account, you'll see that it shows you your safe searches and your favorite properties. Right now, there are none. So whenever you want to find that, you go up here to your uh, the login uh, area, and it shows you your safe searches and your favorite properties. We have no safe searches, so let's go ahead and, and make one. First, navigate over to the advanced search uh, feature. Uh, you can find it at the top of most screens, uh, but you'll always find it up here in the toolbar. So click on advanced search. Now let's say that you're interested in a home that's either in Black Forest, Monument, or Northgate, for instance. So we're going to select those three areas. If you're using a PC, you hold down the control key to select more than one area. So let's pick Black Forest. Holding down the control key, scroll down to Northgate. Keep scrolling to uh, Tri Lakes. By the way, if you didn't know that Tri Lakes was also referred to as Monument and vice versa, just drop me a note. You can send me an email. You can give me a phone call. You can send me a text. Whatever you're comfortable with, ask me these questions. Um, I'm happy to help. All right, now let's say that you're interested in looking at a home only, no condo, so we're going to unselect condo. We're interested in a home between $300,000 and $500,000. We want at least three bedrooms and at least two bathrooms. Click the search. And now we can see that there are 90 properties that currently meet the search criteria. You can sort this property by the highest to the lowest, the lowest to the highest, or the newest, the newly added. I prefer the newest. I want to see what's fresh on the market now. Uh, Colorado Springs, uh, properties move pretty quickly, so, um, so it's best to look at what's newly avail available first. So let's say that this, this is producing the kind of results that you like and you're happy with it. So let's go ahead and save this search. So at the top of the search result page, you see the Save This Search link. Let's click on that. Give your search a name. And then give a frequency of how frequently you would like to receive updates. It's my suggestion that if you're three months or less away from wanting to move into a house or go under contract on a new home, uh, click the daily frequency. If you're more than three months out on, on wanting to move, maybe a weekly search and updates is more appropriate. You can change this at any time, so no worries there. So click the save, and now you've got your first save search. All right, so let's go show you the interactive map feature. If you click on the interactive map, it's going to show you all the properties on a map and this might be a good, a good tool so that you can see where the properties are actually located relative to landmarks or areas that you're familiar with. The other really cool thing about this is you can turn on the satellite um, image and you can zoom all the way in. Let's find, let's find a community that maybe isn't brand, brand new so we can see a, a street view image. So let's, let's say that you're interested in this home on Tierra Drive, and you want to see what it looks like from the street. Just, this is powered by Google, so just pick up the little, the little Google man and, and drop him right on the street. And now you can see the, the house from the street. You can see the neighborhood. You can see that the house faces to the south. OK. So to return to the uh, interactive map, just click the interactive map button, and it takes you right back. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to see one of those homes in Glen Eagle uh, over off of Tierra Drive. Let's just zoom back in. Let's see. Okay, so here's the home on Tierra Drive that we just looked at from the Google Earth image. You can also see it here. Anything that shows up 
in the map also shows up on the left here. So let's click on this home on Tierra. And let's say that you want to see, um, see more details about this. Let's look through the pictures. You can look through the pictures. You can also look at the property details, the property description. And let's say that you really like this house and uh, you want to save it as a favorite. You can either save it as a favorite down below the property description right here, add favorite, or it's also at the top right underneath the name. So let's save this as a favorite. Now let's say that let's say that you want to know um, a little bit more about this property. Perhaps you know you don't see that there's any HOAs listed here. So you want to know, are there any HOAs here? So you can request information on the property by clicking the request information button. It's, it's again in both in both places. So let's say you want to uh, in, send a message to me asking if there are any um, any HOAs. The message already knows which property you're looking at and referring to, so you don't need to put the address. Just put your question about it and hit send. And it'll send me that question and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. You can also schedule a showing. Let's say that you want to see this house. Uh, you know that properties move fast in Colorado Springs and you want to go see this. So you can click schedule showing. So let's say that you're available on Sunday. And so click Sunday and select tour, schedule tour. So that'll send me a notice, let me know that you would like to see this property and you're available on Sunday to see it. And once I receive that notification, I'll go ahead and get it scheduled. That's all there is to that. So let's let's show you how to how to get to your saved searches. Let's show you how to modify your search criteria um, at at a future date. Let's say Let's log out, and so we're back at the home screen. And let's say that you want to, you know, you, you like your search results, but you're thinking, you know, you want to change the uh, the price range of the homes you're looking at, or maybe you want to add Northwest to the search results. So simply go back up to the upper right, uh, select the person silhouette there, log into your account. All right, go to your save searches. And so here's your save search. If you want to see uh, your searches, click on the search name. But in this case, let's say that we want to edit edit this. And by the way, if you wanted to change the, uh, the frequency of the notifications, you can do that right here at any time. So, so let's edit the, the search criteria. Let's say that we also want to look in the Northwest as well. Simply, hold down the control key on a on a uh, windows computer or the mac button on a on a mac on an apple product and select the area that you'd like to include okay let's say that we also want to you know tighten up the the price range a little bit let's say we wanted to drop it down to 450. there we go and now you simply save your changes and now if you want to see those search results, go over to my search and there they are. Okay. And that's all there is to, to that. If you have any questions on setting up a saved search, saving your favorites, scheduling showings, or requesting more information, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can reach me at 719-460-6145. You can also send me a text to this number, 719-460-6145, or you can send me an email, markjmain at gmail.com. Thank you so much.